Hi, my name is Angeli Santiago, and I've been involved with uh, the Agri Hope class through Buckner for the past three years, three or four years now. I think I've taken the class several times, and I have learned something each time I take it a lot. Actually, I have learned a whole lot from Miss Andrea Torres. This last class, I learned how to make my own onion chive powder. Um, it was actually how to dehydrate the onions and make onion powder, but I decided to make onion chai powder since I have a lot of cebolla growing. My husband's from Veracruz and he loves the chili picking. So we make it in aceite, we use it in powder on the table. So I took some of the chiles and I started growing them in my greenhouse so I could have chili picking plants. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a quick little tour of my garden here. Right here, I built this out of recycled wood and in here i plant and propagate and there goes some habaneros over there these are plants that um i grow from seed and i sell wholesale to a lady um i propagate off of this mint plant to make other ones to sell at a really reasonable price um i also buy plants from walmart and make more out of one plant to sell um, here go jalapenos. I planted way too many seeds in these. I got chili piquin over there because my husband's from Veracruz and loves chili piquin. Here's some more habaneros out here. We love eating the habaneros. I do a little bit of uh, succulents and cactus uh, wholesaling as well. This one's about to flower. Okay, so I grow my plants in there. Here's my mora tree. My ceiba is returning and my Toronja tree, my grapefruit. So in here I got um, cucumber. No, yes, cucumber growing. You can see them in there. There's one of my cucumbers. There's a bunch of them in there. Um, this is filled with compost. I have cebollita, broccoli. I also have hidden in here acelgas. There's chards. Um, I'm letting my cilantro flower. I come and cut off here. For fruits or veg vegetables that I may need, it, my tomatillo. This one's only giving me about four right now. There's one there. It's growing. Um, but this one's giving me, this Roman tomato has been yielding a whole lot to me. So I'm ready for these. And I have some betabel and some garlic there. Um, I had a lot of tomato plants that weren't picked up by my students so i have i planted a few back here and put the irrigation for them so we'll see how that goes but that's a little bit of my garden here i have other plants around i have some mexican lime and other citrus trees over there that are growing returning and instead of making them like a tree, I'm going to do them like a vine, like I learned at the San Juan Garden. I would like to take this time to thank Miss Andrea Torres for everything she has taught me, the patience she's taken to show me and answer every question that I sent her or pictures of insects or whatever I, questions I have. She's always available to answer. And I just wanted to say thank you so very much, Miss Andrea Torres. Say thank you, Anya. What are you tearing up? Say thank you. Thank you. That's thank you.